Oh yeah, there's a new invention called a microphone. <laughs> you could tell I'm mostly a sideman, but um, but I figure I'll break with tradition and speak beforehand. Uh, so we're gonna thank you all for for being here, and um, we're gonna play uh, a lot of songs by Horace Silver 
Uh, and the first one is called Shouting Out. It's one from one of the earlier records called Silver's Blue. And uh, we're going to get right into it. Thank you. 
There's an incident. There's an incident. Don't panic. Everything's okay. Doodling. I think you said okay, doodling, didn't you? <laughs> I have a two lists, one on the left and one on the right. So the one on the right is okay. The left one. Yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind applause. And it's so great to see you all here. Um, and uh, at our little tribute to Horace Silver. Yesterday was Horace Silver's, would have been his 93rd birthday. He was born in 1928. And um, he is one of my idols, one of the people that when I was a young uh, kid starting out playing jazz, one of the people that I grabbed onto and connected to along with Bud Powell. Uh, what made Horace especially important to me was that at that time in the mid-70s he was still alive and still vibrant and still putting out what I think are great records. And um, so it was very influential. He's um, actually you know, he's a very important person in music and, and also somewhat underrated. I mean, he because of him, he kind of shepherded the music from the thornier, um, uh, harmonically dense, uh, uh, jagged bebop lines into a more funky, um, uh, melodic, and in his case, supremely harmonic. Uh, he's a harmonic master. And and also his playing, he's a master of economy, and he does a lot with with um, considerable less chops than a lot of than 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 many. And every note he plays counts, and every note is harmonically dense and right. So tonight I'm very fortunate to be playing with two of my favorite musicians. How about it for Mike Zisman on bass? <laughs> And Tony Johnson on drums. Yeah, yeah. yeah both un incredible, putting up with my tomfoolery <laughs> and these charts. And we, we began with a song called Shouting Out, and the last so piece you heard was um, more well-known. It's, it's called Doodlin'. That's from uh, the record. When I originally approached Eric about this gig about four or five months ago, I said I would do the whole record, Horace Silver and the Jazz Messengers, the blue, the blue cover when he's making a peace sign. But then I thought, well, it's, it's a little SF jazzy, you know. I, I, I didn't want to. I wanted to do, you know, a lot of songs that I feel particularly connected <laughs> to. Many of them on that record, and that's where Doodlin' comes from. What's the next one? Hippie. And this one is also from that record, called Hippie.
very much thank you even though it was only 1956 or or so there's apparently there were hippies back then <laughs> <laughs> so um, go figure uh, we are going well I'm going to do a song written a, uh, a few years a decade or so later uh, from a great record he did with Mickey Roker and um, Bob Cranshaw as well as uh, the Brecker Brothers, believe it or not. Uh, the record was in pursuit of the 27th man, and this one is called Summer in Central Park.
Wow, you guys are the best o audience. Thank you. I'm, I'm pandering a little bit. Okay, uh, but that's uh, uh, Summer in Central Park. Hello to all the web audience out there. I, um, and uh, I want to say hello to my, um, my two cousins, Judy and Ruthann, listening from New York and Los Angeles, respectively, as well as my good buddy, Zan Stewart, <coughs> who is uh, a friend of all of ours and a, and a renowned saxophonist in his own right. And we're going to play... What are we going to play? I will. This, uh, as I was talking about uh, Horace's 70s work, that uh, I, I felt really connected to it because these records were coming out when I was a kid, when I was, um, you know, so it wasn't like Bud Powell or Coltrane or Bird, they were already long gone, but Horace was still making movies, uh, m movies, well, you know, not, not, not really movies, but uh, music uh, and vital music. And here's one called I Will Always Love You from a record he did called uh, Silver and Voices.
Folks, we're going we're gonna to conclude this set, and then uh, there'll be plenty of more festivities to go as we, we have one more set after this. Um, and um, once again, how about it for Tony Johnson on the drums? <laughs> and Michael Zisman on the bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Keith Saunders. Two of the swingingest cats I know, I have to say. And um, we're going to uh, play uh, Room 608.
Tony Johnson, keep Tony. Start well. Don't forget to drink a lot. We'll sound a lot better. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. We're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this second set going. So if I can get you all to settle on in, we'll get this music rolling again. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Can we get you guys to take your seats? Hey there. Let's get you guys into your seats. We'll get this thing rolling. All right. So we're very pleased to have you come out tonight. Thank you very much. Keep coming. We've got music here every Friday, every Saturday. We've had music here every Friday since October of 2002, except twice. So that's a lot of Fridays. And both of those were last year around Christmas time. So, uh, yeah, so we're pre pleased to do it. Um, these musicians have all been on this stage many, many times. Uh, and uh, we're very pleased. It's got Keith Saunders leading on piano. Very wonderful, wonderful musician. All right, so yeah, the music of Horace Silver. So tomorrow night we have a piano trio. Uh, the next weekend there's more. There's a schedule out there. There's a website. Check that. We keep a, a email going out once a week that'll keep you abreast of things. So if you want to get that, then uh, tell me and I'll put you on the email list. Okay, I think I got them all settled in for you guys. What do you say? You ready to regale them? Okay, it's time to go.
which is Horace backwards.
this point, we're going to do a little sorbet, a little palate cleanser that's not a Horace tune. Um, <laughs> wait, that's kind of a backhanded insult to Horace. <laughs> but we'll let it go for now. This will this all be edited out for the stream. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. 
This is called Day In, Day Out.
That's called melancholy mood. And, uh, you know, for a guy who bills himself as the hater, I sure do play a lot of happy tunes. So we're going to do something in a minor key called Creeping In. And if Andy Watson is out there listening in the stream, shut up! Probably going off after this.
How are we doing on time, Eric? We, we, one, more. one more. Okay, we can have. Can you sum up for us, Silver, in one more thing? Yes, I can. I believe I can oh, do one that. Okay, well, uh, thank you all for coming. Once again, for Tony Johnson on the drums. How about a big hand for Tony? And Michael Zisman on the bass. And Keith Saunders on the piano. We thank you all. Thank you to Eric Whittington for having the greatest spot in the city that we love to play at. And um, so we, we had a ball tonight, and uh, we're going to conclude with, a, I would say, a lesser-known composition. I don't think it even really came out with the, with the horoscope record where it's on. It was released later on as an alternate take. This is called Mellow D. <laughs> D uh, initial must have been someone with the name oh. D. Oh, thank you.
Thank you one more time for Mike Zisman, Tony Johnson, and Keith Saunders. Thank you for coming. Yeah, Keith Saunders. Keith Saunders, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and you all, thank you all for coming. Oh, thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. So keep an eye on the jazz here at Bird and Beckett. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the tip of the iceberg here. But it's a beautiful tip, that is. Huh? Thank you for being here. Look at our web. Look at our website. I'm going to leave tonight's. I'm going to leave tonight's post up till the morning. So check it out. Check out the shows coming up tomorrow and next weekend and next weekend and next weekend and next weekend, and some things in between. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Good night.
you're doing this and you're spiritually reaching for the sky. You know, you're, you're, you're just going on this journey, but the song you played after the break was exactly that. It was well chosen. Well, you're the you're the you're the hands hands right now we saw them in the house. You're the hands right now? Yeah. 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 We don't have any customers now. This one.